the third thing that you can do is that let's again reset this to 0 comma 0 comma 0 for better understanding now my cube is exactly in the center the movement of this cube again we will do with grab and we will move it in some direction now instead of moving it with the mouse what we can do is we can say grab let us say on z direction now i can enter a number like a negative value or positive value and move it if i press like 2 my cube will move by 2 units whatever unit you have selected meters inches whatever is there so now it has moved 2 units in y direction positive you can also uh, press like i have cancelled the operation you can also say grab on z by 2.5 units right this is also possible in fact here when we uh, grab and move our object you might notice that the after the decimal point there is a big value so actually you could give something like 1.234579 whatever is the possible limit you can even move that precisely according to this value you can see how much decimal points are supported over there that precision you can utilize for movement so you can do this movement for xyz or shift of the values like for grab it on let us say x and move it by minus 3 so if you want to move it in a negative direction you can use the press minus and 3 so it moves towards the negative direction similarly grab on y and move it on minus 4 don't take a very big value your object might run away or go out of the screen so if you want to try let us say grab z and i will press 50 so now it is out of my screen right it is there if you zoom out you might find it somewhere it's there but it's gone too far sometimes if you press thousand or something it may go out too far anyways we can always press ctrl z to cancel the last operation and this is how my object is back in my screen so this way i can set or move my objects in different locations okay in next video we will also see a few movement tricks by using the front view side view top view and how they can be advantages by that time you can try playing around moving your objects using the keyboard shortcut mechanism remember cursor should be in the 3d view area while you are using the keyboard shortcuts